Today I'm going to show you how to make a roast beef with vegetables, share the cooking time and how long to cook it per pound. Let's get cooking. Onions can be a rascal to peel, so what I find is just submerging them in some water, leave them in there for about five minutes. Now when it comes to chopping it, take the top off, chop it in half. Now look how easy that skin comes off. It's simple. You want to cut this into a large chunk. Remember the roast is gonna cook for quite a while. We don't want it to overcook. With the carrots, we want to chop these into large chunks, about three quarters of an inch. And it's the same when it comes to the celery. With the celery, we want to go into one inch pieces. For the garlic bulb, I like to take a cloth and just press down and that breaks open the individual cloves. Let's talk about temperatures. And as we can see, I've got this close towards the end because that's all I had in the grocery store. For you at home, you may, may be able to get just an even cut. This section will cook evenly, but as it comes down towards the tip, this is gonna have a tendency to cook first. So how long do I roast this? Normally I'll allow about 13 to 15 minutes per pound. Okay, so rare we're looking at about 125 Fahrenheit. If we're looking to cook this medium, that's gonna be 17 to 19 minutes. So between 17 to 19 minutes per pound when it goes in the oven. If I'm looking to do this well done, I'm gonna allow about between 20 to 25 minutes, please use your thermometer. That's just a rough guide because every oven is different. Always allow time for browning the meat, which is gonna take at least five to 10 minutes, and resting the meat. Add some oil to the beef, it can be canola oil, olive oil, and give this a massaging in. Now be generous with your seasoning, kosher salt, freshly milled pepper, and that minced thyme. Be sure to season it all over. Heat up a skillet or a cast iron pan and give this a jolly good brown and add a bit more oil to the top. I like to add a colander on top of the dish. It stops it splattering. Be sure to brown all sides and that includes the top and the bottom. Now we're gonna add the vegetables, place the beef back on and then this is gonna go in an oven that's preheated to 425. Let this cook to your desired doneness. Always make sure to use your trusted thermometer. Let your meat rest for about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna make a pan sauce. To a saucepan, red wine, beef stock, little bit of butter. I also like to add some fresh thyme and a garlic clove. Really bumps up the flavor. Let this cook for about 10 minutes. Follow the steps and you end up with a beautiful, tender piece of beef like this. And that red wine jus, oh, your family's gonna love it. Until next time, I'm John Ashton. See you soon.